Castillo de San Felipe. Jabalif Bridge. ¿De qué país originalmente es usted? Originalmente de Guatemala, originalmente de Mazatenango, de Chitepeques. Okay. Yo pensé que era de otro país. ¿Por qué, señor? Porque pues, su apariencia. No, el que tenga barba no quiere decir que sea no. extranjero. So we are behind the castle and you can see the hammocks over there. They are for you to come and enjoy. So this is the back of the Castillo de San Felipe and there's a beach. So there it is. From the behind of the Castillo de San Felipe. Here we are this morning walking into Castillo de San Felipe. Oh, we gotta go see that canyon over there. An old canyon. There it is. Old canyon. Look at that. Very, very old. Wow. I see in better times. Okay. Now let's continue walking. I had to show you this tree. Because this is what it produces. See? From this, they used to make a, a pot to drink coffee, uh, to do many things with these guys. I'm going to dejarlo where we found it. We'll leave it where we found it. Uh, take a look at the tree. Hopefully, we can see it. There's two of them right there. And this fruit over here is called caimito. Right there. They're very, really, really sweet, delicious. And the parasite tree is growing as orchids. Right there. All of this is full of it. Look at that. It's almost down into the ground, coming from up there, see? And then they become a new tree because they endure, endure. They hang and endure the, the years that they have to be hanging there until they get to the ground. In the meantime, they're killing the other, the main tree. This is the entrance of Castillo de San Felipe. And we're gonna go, walk through it. And right over there, you can see the sign that says, Castillo de San Felipe. Well, Castillo de San Felipe was Built in 1651, right there. So this has access directly to the ocean and access directly to the, and this side is Lake Isabel, and this side is uh, the Caribbean Sea. We have a lift bridge, which is nicely. So now, we say buenas tardes o buenos días. Buenas tardes, bienvenido. Muchas gracias, muy amable. Se puede pasar por todos sí, lados. Claro. Tengo que enseñarles esto. Sí, ¿de qué país originalmente es usted? Originalmente de Guatemala, originalmente de Mazatenango, de Chitepeques. Ok, yo pensé que era de otro país. ¿Por qué, señor? Porque por su apariencia. No, el que tenga barba no quiere decir que sea no, extranjero. No, 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 no es eso. Es que el color de su piel dice otra cosa. ¿El color de mi piel es negro? Sí, pero de esa manera es como nosotros evaluamos a la persona, porque como aquí traducimos, yo puedo dar la indicación en griego, en italiano, en, también practico un idioma... ¿Qué sí? morena. Los, ¿O carífona? Los hindúes. Oh. Se llama pachabi. Pachabi. Sí, entonces por eso es que nosotros tratamos de identificar. Uh -huh. Regáleme su nombre en el libro. Con mucho gusto. Esta es una estadística de turismo. Ok. So, I'm here in front of a gentleman who is a translator. So he just explained that he can 
speak many languages. He is going to help us with the tour. So let's enjoy this. Yeah, yes, uh, I would like to say everybody, you are welcome to the port. You have to mind your head all the time inside the port, plus the floor is not even here. Be careful when you walk there, and the dungeon is here clear now. Two weeks ago, we get that two feet of water inside the dungeon. Wow. Now you can pass through. Now it's, it's, it's clean. Yeah. And it's dry. Here in the book. Well, so I have to write my name. name. Last name, you come from, and I'm singing at you. Okankesh, Bano Silal, Takila Holomaran, Maskubenakli, Oklebal, Kwarani Be. Belu Banomada, Coming Away Babu, Coming Away Babu, Yaraha, Nomada. Bienvenido Garifuna. Garifuna. Si, sí, es necesario. <laughs> well, but we have here the gentleman that speak many languages. Yeah, you have to make your tour. If you have a question, just let me know, okay? I, I will, will be here. Very well. Just not with me, I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> I get confused, I get emotional. Yeah, you get emotional with all the, all the people, the, the languages you can speak. I like they, to you do my speak. job, because this is the reason, the, the, the difference. Cuidado con su cabeza y con el caminar, por favor, no se vaya a golpear. So, I can, yo puedo decir, uh, Malteo Stadt. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a cliché. <laughs> <laughs> because if you think of Bantiochtat, the only conoces the language, so I'm trying to test this gentleman here, but he knows he knows his language very well. Thank yeah. you very much. It's very hard. Yeah, I want to start walking then. Yeah. Go. Okay. You have a question, let me know. I will, thank you. Well, here we go. Principal entrance. I'm gonna make a switch here. I'm gonna change the cameras. The entrance of Castillo, the San Felipe, and you can see it's just a little entrance here. And here we go. We can come in. Look at this. Wow. This is amazing. This used to be the kitchen and the living room for the people that used to live here. All the soldiers, I believe, or the all the pirates. Or the people that used to live here. Look at that. 490 some years since it was built and still standing and in one piece. Wow. Look at this, an old bar here for the door. It used to be the door here, okay. If we go this way, we will find the exit, so we don't go that way. We come back here, and we'll see, look at that. All the canyons, the mountain for the canyons, and there they are, look at that. Look at those big wheels, these metal wheels. Look at this anchor. Those wheels were set into the this and the canyon was set on top. Look at the chain. Well, let's continue with the tour coming into the Campanario. It used to be the little the little chapel. As you can see there's still some of the some of the images are still here. I don't think those are all. Yes, I think those are modern. The black lady. This is called the confessionario, where you come in to confess your, your sins to the priest. Look at this, beautiful. We find ourselves into another step case here, going up to the to the terrace. Oops. It's okay, no hay problema. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? All right, how are you? I'm good too. How do you like all of this? I came here uh, five years ago. You came here five years ago? Yeah, so this and is you the had to come back. Yeah, well, she didn't come with me, and that's my oh, mind. So you so had to bring it. Had to bring it. <laughs> uh, 
the thing is, there's so much stuff in Guatemala. <laughs> so I've been coming for like 32 years. 32 years. And every time I come, there's something new. And some of my favorite things, five years ago, I took the trip with her nephew. Mm -hmm. We came here, we did the tour. Then we went up to Flores, did a day in Flores, and did, did the cow and all the ruins. Uh -huh. that, amazing, man. Eh? Amazing. Um, it's, it's just the words and to all the beauty in Guatemala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, usted habla español ahora, ¿no? Sí, sí, puedo sí, qué bueno. Eso me interesa saber que usted aprendió la lengua. Pero la tengo lengua. años y años con, junto con los latinos, entonces sí puede hablar. <risa> y lo, los hijos de nosotros, mm -hmm. la grande, no quiso aprender, pero salió un trabajo que tuvo que practicar <risa> poco. Y, ¿El chiquito? Sí, sí él le gusta. A él, él, él va a decir, yo soy de Guatemala. Wow. <risa> Y, Increíble. Y, y es más blanco que yo. <risa> Pero no. él ama a Guatemala. Yo también. De hace algún tiempo para acá yo dejé de ponerle café a mi a leche a mi café porque si no me pongo muy blanco. <risa> sí, sí, cierto. <risa> a pleasure to meet you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Have you a wonderful day. You too. So we just met. Uh, what's your name? Michael. Oh, we just met Michael. Uh, he come from the United States, I believe. Texas. Mississippi. Texas. 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 Amigos. That's from a, from a friend. Mississippi Blues. Oh, you like the blues too? Él es de Colombia. Oh. Carlos Elliott Jr. Carlos solo Elliott. Él es vivo. Todos los dos murió. Oh. Pero son, todos son amigos nosotros. Okay. Pero si puede encontrar, Carlos Elliott. I will. So, this gentleman just told us that uh, he has come into Guatemala for a long time and uh, he's his younger son says that he's Guatemalan and he loves to speak Spanish. We continue now, we're going up, we're climbing to the first terrace. Here we are on top of the first terrace. This is the watchtower here. Watch your head because it's very low. It's called Atalaya, the watchtower. Okay. Are you coming down? Yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> Need some help? Okay. You. you got it, you got it. Yeah. Give me a hand. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> I can't hurt going up, huh? Wow. Is that a nice feature? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's almost the same as Puerto Rico, you know? Ustedes son de Puerto Rico? Yeah. Ustedes de Puerto Rico. ¿Y qué le parece Guatemala? ¿Le gusta Guatemala? ¿Le gusta lo que está viendo? ¿Y usted es guatemalteco, señor? Yo también soy guatemalteco, más que vivo muchos años en Canadá. ¿Canadá? Sí. Estoy sufriendo un poquito. Hace mucho frío, ¿eh? Ah, estoy, ahorita estoy sufriendo con el calorcito que hace aquí. Ah, pero... ¿Dónde viven ustedes? En Nueva York. New York, allá me imaginaba, so, tienen el mismo problema con el calor, ¿verdad? <risa> <risa> mucho gusto saludarles, ¿eh? Okay. Que tengan buen, buen tiempo en Guatemala. Gracias, igual. Okie dokie, so we'll continue. We just talked to people, one Guatemala and one Puerto Rican, and they're here visiting Guatemala. Whew, I'm sweating. Look at the Guatemalan flag and the plenitude. We have another watchtower here. This canyon used to send bullets that will cut on fire, so that's like a napalm at this point, and they just send the bullet and when it lands it just blow up into a fire well we continue going up too many steps and a little bit of light needs to be appreciated here but anyways we're coming up wow look at this is from inland they were so protected look at this I can see everything, and they were kind of protected. Kind of hard, the angle is difficult. But look at that, always stupid people coming to do stupid things. So this is the inland, and look at that. They have canyons here. Look at that. The Royal Crown. Can you see the, the royal crown there, right here? Mounted in a concrete base. 
Look at that. Defending the inland section of it, right there. And over here, the first one that will blow up any, any boat coming in. Look at that. The Royal Insignia. We all go up here. Let's see where we go up here. So you can see the chains here are the one that lift the hanging bridge out on the outside. So anything that happens, they were ready to lift up the bridge and lift people outside right there on the other side of the bridge with water and everything. So it was hard for them to cross. Oh, look at this, going around and around. And uh, something more is here. Look how they build these this, this things. You, you were able to shoot, but they were not able to shoot at you. Because you, you can shoot from here, you can shoot from here, and you were out of the aim of the others. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. And that is the bridge. Okay. We have seen it. We have seen it. Ah, oh, we just have to show the roof. Look at that. When we come in, this gentleman, uh -huh. I call him the man of the many languages. Because you hear him speaking Hindu, uh, English, uh, Garifuna, Kekchi, so many languages, but I gave me, yeah, I gave me the time to talk to him a little bit, and uh, happens that uh, he used to live in Calgary, Alberta, and I live in Calgary, Alberta for a few years, so he says that uh, he lives in Guatemala now because out of his pension from Canada, he support a bunch of children with uh, education, so he buys the, all they need for schooling. And um, um, I would like to hear from him in his project and how my subscribers, how my people can help him to, you know, to, to buy things for, for the school of those, these children. So tell me a little bit your, your story. Yeah, I, I came from Canada. I get my CPP already. And uh, I usually I use that money uh, uh, to help uh, kids here. I have uh, so many kids, like uh, 900 kids <laughs> right now, and uh, they are in the school. Uh, they need uh, uh, to buy uh, like uh, books, uh, like uh, anything for the school, and uh, this is uh, the ones I do for with my CPP. And, uh, and uh, how do we contact you? How do we uh, make contact for people that might want to cooperate with you and send you some uh, help and aid for the children. Ah, uh, okay. I think I have a, a, a like a small card here. Uh, I have email and I have my my WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. And your your institution has a name or something? No, no, no. I am well, alone. I am doing by myself. Okay. I know. He I does this on his own, and uh, his name is Carlos Chacon, and he, here is his information for anybody that wants to help him with the education of these five, 900 children he says he has <laughs> under his belt. Yeah. So we'll be happy to help you, see how these people yeah. respond. Yeah, so, it's good. The inversion, the inversion here is a, it's a good because for the future for Guatemala, on the world, because they can, uh, when they get the study, they get better people. Very well, so. In other words, education makes better people, and yeah. better people create a better world. Yeah, so exactly. We'll see how the response from this is, and uh, <laughs> see how we, we can channel some help for you. Yeah, okay? okay, thank you. Thank you very much for the thank time. And you, you stay in Guatemala. Uh, here we are on our way out of the Castillo de San Felipe. Vamos a ver una vueltecita para verlo.
We're turning around to see him for the last time. Here we go. Okay. Livingston, Tikal, Yakshila, Yaksha, and El Remate, all of the same way. Ah, uh, Samuk Champe in Kwang. We're going to Kiriwa, that's where we're going. Antigua, Guatemala, Lahuatitlan. From Kiriwa, we will come back to go to Livingston and then Tikal. So now, let's walk. From the Castillo de San Felipe, El Isabel, we say this is Mystic Moto, and we are happy to entertain you. You know what I said: subscribe, give us a like, and write a comment, and we will be happy to talk to you. I'll see you on the road. <laughs>